So the game I'm playing today is called Section Z, and yes, I am going to pronounce it that way for the entirety of this video because I'm Canadian and that's just how we say it up here, so there's... there's nothing you can do about it, okay? And if you have a problem with that, well, I have one word for you. Copium. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so I feel like it has been a little while since I covered a retro arcade game on the channel. This one comes to us courtesy of Capcom. This is a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up that was originally released in 1985. It's not one of Capcom's more well-known games. I do think this is a fairly obscure one that I'm showing here. In this game, you take control of an astronaut with a jetpack, and they are investigating a strange space station that has suddenly appeared orbiting the Earth, and it turns out that it is populated by aliens. And the aliens are not exactly friendly, because I'm pretty sure they are just plotting to destroy the Earth itself. You know, typical 1985 video game plot right there. But long story short, you need to fight your way towards Section Z of the space station, and you have to defeat the alien race's leader, Elbrain. So one thing that I did find kind of surprising about this game is that it is structured in a very similar manner to Moon Patrol. You might remember in the video that I did on Moon Patrol a few months ago, all of the levels in that game were divided into different sections, and all the sections went from A to Z. And the whole point of that game was that you had to make your way towards Checkpoint Z, and then once you made it to Checkpoint Z, that was just it. You beat the game. <laughs> well, Section Z works in a very similar manner. You're trying to get from point A to point Z, and just like Moon Patrol, each individual section in this game functions as a checkpoint, so if you die on Section F, for instance, then you'll just respawn at the beginning of Section F. And thankfully, this is one of those arcade games where you can use your credits in order to continue from where you last left off, even if you do end up running at a lives. Now, unlike what I did with Moon Patrol, however, I do not plan on playing through the entire game in this video. What I have decided to do is that I am going to, at the very least, play through half the game. So, basically, that means I'm going to be playing all the way up to around Section O. What also differentiates this game from Moon Patrol is that this game actually has bosses, but the bosses are not particularly hard to beat, at least the first two aren't. But this game overall is actually pretty difficult, like most shoot-'em-ups were back in this time period. So I have decided that I'm not going to be playing through the entire game, I'm only going to be playing through about half of it, and then I think we'll end the video after that. Also, another thing that I found really surprising about this game is that the music is actually really good. I wasn't expecting much from this game's soundtrack either, but it turns out that the soundtrack to Section Z is surprisingly funky. And for the record, I have already played this game a little bit off-screen, just so you know. I do know that this game was eventually ported to other platforms, including the NES. There was an NES version that came out in 1987. The NES version is apparently very different from the arcade version, though, but I'm not gonna go into any of these differences right now, because this video does not focus on the NES version. We're just gonna play the arcade version here. And this game was also featured on some of Capcom's own compilations as well. Anyway, I would like to start playing the game here now, so I am going to put uh, a few credits into here. I did enable this dip switch right here to give me additional lives, but like I said before, if you do end up losing all your lives in this game, as long as you have credits remaining, you can actually continue from where you last left off. And I'm playing this through Mayhem, where I can just keep giving myself more and more credits, so I may as well have infinite lives. Like I said before, this game is really difficult, and I cannot play the game all the way up to Section O on just, like, one credit. It's basically impossible for me to do that. Mostly because I just suck at this game for the most part, but anyway. We are gonna get started immediately here. So, we are on the space station, we're gonna enter from the bottom. Yes, player one ready. Okay, so yeah, th the first thing you'll notice here is that this game does differentiate itself from other shoot-'em-ups of its era by having you play as an actual person instead of a ship or even like a land vehicle like you do in Moon Patrol. So the way that this guy controls is that you can actually uh, change his orientation by pressing the Alt key, if you're playing on MAME, that is. I think there is, like, a dedicated button for that on the actual cabinet. 
Although I haven't actually seen a picture of the Section Z arcade cabinet, though. But there is a button that does allow you to, like, change his orientation. So he can shoot from either, you know, either left or he can shoot to the right. I'm not entirely sure how unique that was amongst shoot-em-ups from 1985, but I imagine it was probably, uh, I don't know, relatively innovative for its time. You'll also notice that every time you fire your, uh, like, laser cannon right here, you also drop a bomb automatically, and that can be used to, uh, well, hang on a second, okay, yeah, so, when you destroy that thing, it launches gas at you, and the gas can kill you instantly, so you do need to just avoid that at all costs. Uh, I did not do a good job at avoiding that, though, because I just, like, did a barrel roll and exploded, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, but generally, you want to avoid destroying that thing, because the gas from, you know, that little canister right there can actually kill you instantly. But yeah, you'll notice that you just drop a bomb automatically, which can be used to kill enemies on the ground, and you can actually walk around on the ground in this game as well. Like, touching the walls does not kill you here. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't normally kill you in other shoot-em-ups, even, you know, the ones where you're playing as an actual ship, but yeah. So that's pretty cool. You can fly around and you can also walk around. Uh, you do move around a lot more slowly on land than you do in the air, though. So that's the, uh, that, that's the only real issue with that. So yeah, you can reorient yourself, look left or right. So if you want to shoot, like, backwards, you can do that as well. There are various power-ups that you can pick up in order to increase your power and also your speed. Uh, the power-ups that are labeled P will increase your power, the ones labeled S will increase your speed, and the ones that are labeled B will actually just give you, uh, bonus points. Yeah, so that's a P right there, so that'll give me power. And, uh, I can increase my power up to level 3, as you can see, and I can also do that with my speed. I will admit that it does get a little bit difficult to control, uh, your character here when his speed is, like, uh, basically maxed out, which I have not been able to do before, because every time you die in this game, your upgrades do get reset. But yeah, we're at Section E now. Here's the boss of Section E. And, uh, oh god, oh Jesus. Okay, yeah, I forgot that this guy actually moves really fast, but he's already dead, so there you go. <laughs> Good! Here is the Section E! Your bonus points is 5,500. Let's try the Section J. Yeah, so we're not going straight to Section J, though, because I believe we are actually on Section... I think this is actually Section E right here that we're on. Yeah, so, the like I said, the first two bosses are not uh, particularly difficult in this game, but they do get harder as they go on. Like, the Section O boss is actually quite hard. Yeah, so, right here we just need to ba basically avoid all these guys. Okay, yeah, so, these uh, enemies on the walls right here... Uh, they launch yellow laser beams at you that just move around in just, w like, one direction. Yeah, but these guys all die in, like, one hit, but you also die in one hit as well, so you still need to be, still need to be relatively careful. Oh, good lord. Yeah, there's, 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 like, a lot to take in here, because the game is so freaking fast-paced. You need to be on your toes at, like, all times, pretty much. Yeah, we're on section G now. Yeah, there is also an indication, like, on the, the user interface as well, like, showing you where exactly you are in the space station. So we are on Section G. Okay, so I do know what this is. This is, uh, okay, well, I, I knew what was coming and I still died instantly. Perfect. Yeah, so this section right here, a uh, bunch of spike balls that are gonna just fly out of these cannons right here. You can destroy them, though, but you probably want to just avoid them at all costs because they just explode in your face and you die instantly. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I, I, I need to, like, try and concentrate just a little bit here. I can shoot the ones that are coming out from the left side. Wow, why why was that guy launching it so fast? I, I didn't notice that before. What in the world? Ow. Yeah, I can't, I can't really tell if these are, uh, if these are completely random, though. I can't tell if they sh if they shoot out randomly, but I do know that if you move fast enough, you can just clear them out right, but I apparently can't because I suck. Okay, don't worry about this right here. It is telling me to enter my initials, but it is going to give me a prompt to continue here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're, we're, we're just going to continue on here, okay? No, don't, don't even worry about it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal in the slightest. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna... Wait, why did that... Why was that thing already already launching its 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 things? Wait, what? I wasn't even anywhere near it. Okay, let's see about this. Okay, there we go. Very nice indeed. And I think I'm gonna go right now. There we go. Okay, now we're on Section H. We just got through uh, all of those cannons, so it's fine. 
now we just have the the regular cannons that shoot these little these little orange bullets right here yeah they all die they all die instantly yeah so this is you you may have also noticed by the way that we we act we actually have entered a vertical section of the level right here where we are uh we're, we're actually traveling upwards yeah by the way if i didn't go through that entrance i would have died yeah so gotta be really careful there okay i already know that there's there's a bunch of enemies that appear out of that cannon right there these little ufos are freaking insane dude yeah i don't know if they're if they're if they attack in completely random patterns i can't exactly tell but they are kind of yeah they're a lot they're a lot more wacky than some of the other enemies here okay so we're on the second boss or we're about to be Okay, wow. Th the boss just spawned and I, like, died instantly. <laughs> yeah, so in order for that boss to spawn, you actually do need to destroy these little, uh, UFOs that are going absolutely haywire here. You have to destroy all of them. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, you have a limited amount of time to actually kill the boss, too. This boss is not particularly hard, either. Case in point. <laughs> There you go. Good. Here's section J. Bonus is 5530. Let's try section O. Yeah, so I think you just, uh, uh, like, like, basically blow his face off. Yeah, just attack him, like, right in the face a few times, and then he'll, he'll just die in, like, a few hits. Yeah, by the way, that little canister right there, it opened up, like, a little, uh, or it dropped a little, a little signpost that you can, uh, attack multiple times in order to get bonus points. Yeah, so basically, if you just want to get points a lot more quickly. Okay, so these guys... I hate these guys because... Mostly because I just died, but no. The reason why I hate those enemies with, like, the, the, the one eye right there is mostly because there's some electricity fields that they can actually, uh... They can actually trigger themselves. Oh man, 8,500 points, let's freaking go. Yeah, by the way, I just I just died again. Yeah, these bombs are definitely useful for taking out the cannons that are on the ground here. Okay, I'm just gonna move through this as fast as I can. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's the thing that like detonates it instantly. Yeah, these guys right here are a freaking pain. They're an absolute pain in my behind. Oh, go, okay, go, go immediately. Yeah, their movement is also very weird as well. Yeah, they're also really bouncy. I don't know why they bounce off of everything. I have no idea what that's all about exactly. Okay, don't, don't, don't worry about this. We actually took out all the cannons already. Okay, so I think I just go now. Oh, okay, that was weird. It didn't actually trigger that time. Oh, oh, be because I, I broke the thing on the bottom. Okay, yeah. So please don't do any, okay, there. I gotta just, I gotta destroy that trigger. Gotta destroy that trigger. There we go. Yeah, they, they can't move through the walls, though, so they're just gonna keep, like, continuously bouncing around. Go now, I think. Oh, okay, that thing, that thing does launch bombs, though. Oh, can I kill them with the bombs, too? Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, I, I killed that trigger, actually. Okay, that was a B right there. That one, that thing just gives me bonus points. That doesn't give me, like, anything, anything special to use at all. Oh my actual god. Oh, don't just- don't just stay there. Okay, there. Oh my lord! Do it! Okay, gas, please? Oh, frick! I don't even know how I avoided any of that. Okay, well, I didn't avoid that, though. Okay, I think I did make it to one of the- one of the checkpoints, though. What section am I at right now? I don't even know. I think I'm at section M. J, K, L, N- yeah, okay, that's three bars after M. Okay, so... I think I actually just skipped an entire section. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of feel like I did, but whatever, we're, we're at section M now. Okay, yeah, these guys look like triangles with legs. Uh, yeah, they're terrifying. But they do give me a lot of points if I destroy them. Yeah, there we go. They cause a nice big explosion, too. Yeah, the same, like, laser shooting enemies right here, except this time they're, uh... They're on the ground and also on the ceiling. There we go, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. Okay, so... Welcome to quite possibly the worst section in the entire game. This is the pinball section. This section's completely random, and it's also very buggy. At least, the pinballs themselves are. Yeah, so there's these cannons that launch pinballs, and the pinballs just, uh, yeah, they bounce in all sorts of random directions, they do ricochet off the walls, and you pretty much can't predict where exactly they're gonna go. And I don't know why they're so buggy as well, because oftentimes they end up getting stuck in either the bumpers or the flippers, and they will just completely glitch out. So, I don't know what in the world that's all about. I don't know why the flippers uh, are, are going, like, so insane too, but I'm gonna try my best to avoid this, but there is no real way to predict where the pinballs are gonna go, and the pinballs are indestructible. You can't destroy the pinballs with either your bombs 
or your cannon, so you have to just avoid them at all costs. Thankfully, though, you can stand on the bumpers, as you can see. Oh yeah, and you can also crouch as well. I don't exactly know what... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of use there would be for crouching exactly. Okay, okay, don't... Oh, freaking lord have mercy on my soul. Okay, get it, get through, get through. Yeah, there is a point where... Yeah, they can't actually travel outwards like that. Like, they can't, they can't escape the room at all because they will actually just explode instantly. Okay, so this is the boss of Section O. Well, actually, this is not the boss itself because the boss only spawns when I destroy all of this crap right here. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so this guy's actually gonna spawn uh, uh, an alien jetpack dude of his own. Okay, well, that's just fantastic. Oh yeah, by the way, if I die to that boss, I have to do the pinball section all over again. So that's, that, uh, flipping great. Haha, <laughs> good pun. Yeah, but I can try and show you guys here that these these pinballs don't... Yeah, these pinballs are freaking the worst thing I've ever seen in a video game, that's what. <laughs> For the record, this is why I said that I was probably not going to try and play through the whole game, because this section right here is actually god-awful. I'm gonna try and do it a few times, but if I can't get through this, then I'm just- I'm just- I may actually just give up. I mean, I can still try and- I, I can still try and shoot them either way, just to show you that they- they don't actually die. Like, they are indestructible. Okay, I think- I think it would be good if I just go through here now, because they're not gonna be able to kill me like this. Because if they try to escape, they're just gonna explode. So that's- that's good, at least. They can't actually travel outside of that, uh, outside of that location there. Okay, why in the world did you not get destroyed, excuse me? Okay, well, at least the flippers cannot kill me. I wasn't actually sure if the flippers even had, like, hitboxes on them. Apparently they do, but only for the pinballs, because I just fly through them. Yeah, see, but you'll you'll see here that this is just completely random, because that time they didn't even, like, like try and come for me. Okay, well, how... Oh my god. There may also be a certain number of pinballs that are allowed to be on the screen at a, at a single time as well, which I think may also be, be sort of helping me out here. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this entire section right here is just freaking horrible. This is by far the worst part of the game. How did I even survive? Yeah, look at that pinball right there that I'm shooting. See how it's just stuck in the bumper and it's just like spazzing out? That's what I meant. This this room is surprisingly buggy. Thankfully, if the pinballs do leave the screen, I do think they despawn instantly, so that's also a good a good thing. Oh my god. Oh my freaking Oh, okay. Oh my god, they're all getting stuck. Okay, well, good. Good. Take advantage of the glitches whenever I can. <laughs> Sometimes the glitches are helpful. Uh, they're not all the time, though. Oh my god, dude. There's not even any point to shooting anything. You may- it's- it's just like a matter of avoiding all the stuff. Oh? Uh, oh, 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 oh! I thought for sure I had it there, but then I ran into the freaking one that was in front of me. Okay, yep, yeah, just stuck in the flipper. Oh, it actually got unstuck. Oh, it got restuck. Perfect. Good game. Oh... Why? Oh my god, dude. I am going to get through this. I have managed to clear this section before and also kill the boss. Because I think the boss is technically part of section N. That's why you have to, like, clear this entire room again if you don't manage to kill him. Son of a... Good lord! Okay, how did I even do that? Son of a good lord. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let, let's, let's, let's move it, boys. Oh, I, I see. So they're they're changing their orientation. I think I have to hit that, uh, that, like, I have to hit that switch on top of them in order for them to die, I think. Is that what I gotta do? I think so. Here, let's just, let's try and do this normally. Just move around like the, oh, I, wow, I actually killed, killed, oh, you spawned another one. I actually killed the guy. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got him. Good. Here's section, oh, your bonus points is 4710. Let's try section T. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to try and clear this, because this part is definitely, like, the most difficult one by far. I can try and at least show you guys what this looks like, though. Okay, this guy right here, I think I, I should try dropping a bomb on. There we go, that actually did work. Okay, that guy just fires a laser. Drop a bomb on this guy, I think. Yeah, because he'll die instantly. Okay, hit that. Okay, wait, wait, hang on a second. Oh god, the game's actually lagging a bit. Frick. Okay, yeah, you can kill these guys on, on the sides of the walls using bombs, actually. Okay, that's good then. That's good then. Okay, let me drop a bomb on this guy. I'm gonna try and, like, kill this guy as, as quick as I can. How did that not work? There we go. Then I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna take care of, the, yeah, the guys that are that are coming up first. There. 
And then the guys that are that are coming down, I'm just gonna shoot them quickly. Got it. it almost looks like they have legs. That's kind of disturbing. There we go. Then we move down. We can just d destroy these bars that come down. I do believe. Oh god, yeah. There's a rolling ball that that comes around for us. We gotta move quick. Move quick. Move out of the way of that. And yet, yeah. Then there's these guys that are gonna like jump around, and they're kind of crazy. Oh freaking god. Oh freaking lord, there's there's actually more of them that, that spawn after this. Holy hell. Okay, don't know how I survived that battle, but alright. Yeah, so, got those guys with the giant legs. They look like big red spiders, almost. They just jump around on the ceiling and on the ground, and they're kind of terrifying. They're generally terrifying. Yeah, then you have, I don't know, these kind of like, drones that are coming up from the above, from below, not from above. Yeah, thankfully their bullets cannot travel through walls, so... I mean, you could probably just avoid these guys altogether if you just, like, stayed still. I don't know, I'd like to try and, and kill some of them. I think I can also kill them with my bombs, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, then you have wasps. Yeah, you just have, uh, angry alien wasps. For, for just seemingly no reason, because why the frick not? Yeah, so I, I don't even know where the heck we are in time and space right now. Okay, yeah, so one of these does not actually drop, uh, does not actually drop an upgrade. One of those actually drops an enemy. But if you kill them, you get like 500 points. There we go. At least got some upgrades here. Oh, very not. Wow, I am so damn fast now. I think these guys do target you directly, if I'm not mistaken. God, I don't even know what section I'm at right now, but I honestly, I, I could care less. Oh, Lord. Okay, I probably should not have done that. Okay, well, I definitely should not have done that, though. Yeah, you see that every time, every time you die, your, uh, your, your power-ups get reset. Oh my god, dude, I am just so bad at avoiding any of these bombs. Or any of these bullets, I should say. Here, just take them out from the side. It seems like I can still destroy them even when they're attached to the wall. It's these things that are, that are like, uh... Yeah, firing the bullets and, god, all sorts of patterns that I can't really, that I can't really predict, honestly. Okay, here, let's just enter my name. Put me back in, coach. I'm not, I'm not entirely done just yet. Hang on a second. I want to see if I can actually get through this section right here. Okay, there we go. That, that's a little bit better now. Oh, that actually pops. I didn't realize that pops after a while. Okay, it's like a bubble. Okay, well, there's my B. Okay, I think I actually did make it to the next section. Okay, yeah, we are just, we are just respawning at section R. Okay, so I only played this game up to section R off screen. So you have these guys with the very erratic movement. They have just one red eye and their eyes are also kind of just, just bugging out like crazy. Not in like a glitchy way, but I guess that's just, you know, the animation. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of different things that are happening and I don't like any of it. I don't appreciate any of it. Okay, I think I actually did destroy it. Uh, well, I didn't destroy the one up there. Holy crap. Okay, hang on. Yeah, this is definitely one of those things that's really difficult to, to commentate over because you have to be, uh... You have to have, like, your undivided attention on this, on this entire game because this is just so many things that are happening all at once here. It is very hectic, though. Like, it's very hectic. It is a shoot-em-up, after all. Yeah, it's definitely difficult to, to take care of this without your, uh... Without your, uh, without your upgrades. It's definitely a lot harder. I don't know, I'm trying to see if I could potentially drop bombs on them. I don't know if that, that works, even though they're, like, airborne enemies. Okay, well... <laughs> I'll try this a few more times, but if I'm not able to get through this particular section, then I may just end the video off. I wasn't expecting to get this far anyway, because I was actually gonna just stop after section O. Or once I- I guess once I got to section O. Okay, well, I'm just not even, like, paying attention anymore. This is- this is- this is just- it-, it there's real-time brain rot occurring now. Oh my god, dude, please! I was gonna say, I wonder if I should just, like, focus on taking the- the- the cannons on the sides out, like, the cannons on the walls out. Because, I mean, oh my god. I guess if I feel like really being a moron right now, I could also try and just not shoot at all, just to see if I can avoid all the bullets and also the enemies. I, I think I think every time I kill one of them, though, there's another that spawns. So you know what? I want to actually try something. I want to try something. I want to just see if I can do this without actually, like, shooting any bullets myself. Yeah, because I, I think there's... There's usually two of them that are on screen. As soon as I kill one of them, the other one's gonna spawn immediately. Okay, well that just kills me instantly. Fine, you know what, frick this. I'm just gonna... Yeah, there is another one that just spawns instantly as soon as I- as soon as I kill them. Oh my god, dude. Then maybe what I should do is just keep these two guys on screen? Cause... 
I, I, I do believe that if these guys just remain on screen, there's not going to be any more of them that spawn. So, oh my god. I keep forgetting about the, the cannons that fire the lasers at the bottom, though. So what I'm thinking is maybe just keeping those guys alive and just, like, focusing on the cannons. And obviously, like... Yeah. Oh my god. Well, trying to avoid the attacks of the enemy is... While I'm trying to take out the cannons, but I'm not even- I'm not even able to do that, apparently. King, can I drop a bomb on you? Oh my god. These guys just, like, charge at me, too. Holy crap, man. I wanna see, can I- can I just straight up drop bombs on you guys? Like this? No, it just- it- it falls through them. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I keep- I- I keep failing to- to see the- 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 the things that fire the- the- the lasers until they're- until it's too late. I can even talk straight right now. Okay. Yeah, this might actually be the last section that I play here because this is just- I'm- I'm trying to do something like very specific right here where I just keep these guys on screen but also kill everything else. As in like, take out the cannons, take out the- okay, there, there. So lure- lure you guys up here. Okay, and then these guys- these things are gonna activate instantly. Wait, are you guys not traveling down here? Oh no, you do. You do travel down here. Oh god. Okay, there. There. So, at least... Okay, so these- those cannons only travel up to a certain point. Oh my god. Uh, I- there's apparently more of them, though. Yeah, I really don't think I should be focusing on you guys right now. Like, the green- the green, like, alien cyclops enemies that kind of look like- Kind of look like Boo from Super Mario World, you know what? Oh my god. Here, I'll try doing this one more time, okay? This is section R. Which is definitely more than halfway through the game, but oh god. Yeah, focus on- just focus on the cannons. Focus on the cannons, j just so that way there's not gonna be more of these guys that spawn. Because I guess the game wants there to be at least two of these guys on the screen. I don't know if any of these- if any of these enemies have official names, by the way. I have no idea. Oh! Oh my god. And I destroyed one of them too. Okay, yeah, it seems like I can lure them to a certain point. Okay, that guy just glitched through the wall. What in the- <laughs> Yeah, it, it- this game definitely seems to be a little bit buggy, so it's definitely- It's definitely not without its issues, for sure. Also, this level- this level background looks surprisingly veiny. And there's something about that that I just don't appreciate. Okay, well, there's something that I really don't appreciate about- About these freaking assholes right here. Look at them. Yeah, these guys are smart, though. And that's why I hate them so much. Yeah, what what in the world is that? You try to sabotage me from by by coming from the bottom of the screen? What even is that baloney garbage? Get out of here, boys. Or girls or NVs, depending, because I don't I don't know your freaking gender. I don't even know if you guys have a gender. I mean you're aliens. Oh god. Okay, the Oh my god. I, I, I hate the laser cannons more than anything else because I just can't freaking predict them for some reason. Okay, there we go. They're actually dead. They're actually dead. They're done. They're- Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, oh my god. There we go. It's kind of easy to avoid those guys, though, because you can kind of, like, lure them into a specific spot and then destroy them. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Kill- kill it? Okay, there. It's dead. Okay, wh now what? What do we have now? Are we at section- Oh, frick off, dude. Not this again. Uh, oh. Is that- was that literally- <laughs> Okay, we're at- we're actually at section S. We got through it. We're at section S. Okay, let's see if I can do this without dying. I- I only have one life left. Okay, well, so much for that. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. We are actually really close to the end of this particular section here. We're at section S. I want to see if I can make it to the boss of this section. And if I can't, we'll just- we'll just end the video anyway. Okay, it seems like I start- Oh, these- these things are moving at completely random speeds, dude. Yeah, their velocity is not consistent in the slightest. Okay. Tur- Laser and also UFOs that go crazy. Everything's going crazy. Oh lord- Okay, wow. I don't know how I did not die from that. Ooh. Are these guys just moving on their own now? I think they- oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm just gonna give this one last try, guys, because I really don't want to try and, and beat the rest of this. Okay, let's see. Whoop. Yeah, these are all moving at different speeds. They are definitely moving at different speeds. Here, we'll try this one last time, and then we'll- 
If I'm not able to get through this, then we'll just end the video. If you guys want to check out the the remaining sections for yourself, I don't know, just watch watch like a walkthrough of this on YouTube or something. I don't know, maybe World of Long Plays has a video on this, perhaps. I have no idea if they do or not, but yeah, why does why do why did they place the checkpoint before this this section right here? I mean, it's not this section that I have a problem with, because look, you can literally just straight line down in and just get through it without dying. It's the fact that the screen is scrolling so slowly that I hate. Okay. I mean, part of this also has to do with me as well and just my shoddy performance, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, every time, every time I die, I have to do this section all over again and I have to like wait for the screen to scroll down and ugh, I don't like that. It, it takes too long, that's the problem. Okay, okay. Let's not die to the first freaking enemy that spawns. Uh, okay, let's die to the laser instead. That's a much better idea. Straight line down. There we go. Works every single time. Absolutely foolproof plan. 100%. Even if the- it, it seems like the speed of those- those spike balls is just random. Okay, that time I didn't even move? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Relax, boys. Relax. God, I need to try and freaking relax as well, because I'm just- I'm just, like, yelling a lot. Okay, well... Well, I think other than that, guys, I- I'm pretty sure you get the entire gist of this game. I don't think there's really anything else that I need to, uh, that I need to explain here. Yeah, I- I think I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. I think we're- we're pretty much done here. Yeah. I told you guys already that I wasn't going to try and beat the entire game here, so I think- I think that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know about this. I will admit, though, that this game ended up being a lot better than I expected it to be. Like, like, in all honesty. Because th the main reason why I chose this game to play today is mostly because this was actually an arcade game that I did remember hearing about a long time ago, and I did know that it was made by Capcom. And recently I was like, you know what, maybe I, I just want to try and check out that Section Z game finally, and just see what it's all about. So I finally decided to play it for a little while off screen, and honestly, it was a lot better than I was expecting it to be. Now, of course, that doesn't mean it doesn't have any flaws, because it absolutely does. It does seem like the game is a little bit buggy at times, especially with Section N, which I like to call the pinball section. Not only are the pinballs themselves very buggy, but I just hate that section in general because of the, you know, extreme randomness that you encounter in that section. What with the pinballs just ricocheting off all the walls and the bumpers, and there's not really any way to predict where they're gonna go next. Also, the fact that the pinballs are indestructible too, you literally cannot destroy them, so you have to just avoid them at all costs. But overall, I actually did enjoy this game quite a bit, like the controls feel really tight. I really love the fact that you can move pretty much anywhere you want to on the screen, or like within the screen boundaries, and also you can reorient yourself. You can shoot either left or right. How many shoot-em-ups back in 1985 allowed you to do that? aside from Time Pilot. Okay, well actually, well now that I think about it, it probably wasn't all that innovative because Time Pilot allowed you to do pretty much the same thing, and uh, Time Pilot also allowed you to fire in more directions, because you can only fire in two directions in this game, but in Time Pilot you can fire in like eight, or maybe even more than that, I have no idea, but yeah, I, I guess Time Pilot did give you a lot more freedom over your orientation, but still, I feel like this wasn't all that common in shoot-'em-ups, even back in the mid-80s. Well, I guess one thing that this game has over Time Pilot is that Time Pilot didn't allow you to move anywhere you want on the screen, because your ship was always stuck in the center of the screen. Also, how many shoot-'em-ups were there back in 1985 that allowed you to play as a person, and also one that allowed you to either walk on the ground or fly in mid-air? You can even crouch when you're walking on the ground, which is definitely useful for, like, hitting those signposts that give you bonus points. Although, to be fair, I don't feel like it's all that useful for anything else. Yeah, but other than that, I really did enjoy this game for the most part. I really like the designs of most of the enemies. I really like the very fast-paced and hectic gameplay for absolute sure. It does feel very frenetic just like all the best shoot-'em-ups. And the soundtrack is surprisingly good, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I wasn't expecting too much from the game's music either, but it turns out, 
Music is genuinely a banger in this game. I was also surprised at how this game seems to be structured almost in the exact same manner as Moon Patrol, which kind of makes me wonder if Capcom probably took inspiration from Moon Patrol for this game. I have no idea. But the fact that you're going from checkpoint A to Z in order to beat the game, I don't know, it seems like... It seems like they were looking at what Irem was doing, and they were like, yeah, let's try something similar to that. So yeah, that is Section Z. Now, as per usual, I am not going to put any links in the description to where you can, like, download a ROM of this game or whatever the heck. Like I said before, there was an NES version that came out a really long time ago. There's probably physical copies of that that you can find online somewhere. And there's also, like, uh, some of Capcom's own official compilations that Section Z has also been featured in. I'm not sure if this game was featured in Capcom Arcade Stadium, or whatever the heck it's called, because I think that's the most recent compilation that Capcom have put out. I don't know if Section Z is featured in that compilation, though. I'll have to go and check to make sure, but, yeah. A very obscure but still surprisingly fun shoot-'em-up from Capcom. I don't feel like it's, uh, you know, as good as 1942, but it's pretty close. So, yeah, that's about it. I have nothing more to say, except thank you guys as always for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!